Hi everyone, welcome to Coinsap and welcome back to yet another video. In this video, we will learn about a very interesting option strategy, which is a, a call butterfly option strategy. So uh, we will learn about, you know, various ways of uh, creating a call butterfly strategy. And uh, the reason why this strategy is very, very interesting is because uh, we can go ahead and trade a various type of market conditions, even using this strategy. So typically what a call butterfly means is, you will go ahead and create a non-directional view on the entire market and you will create a hedge strategy, okay? A hedge strategy for that uh, non-directional view and that view would be oscillating, okay? So oscillating view on the market. So how we will do it is, so let's say we will go to architect and create a custom strategy. So what we need to do is, we need to sell two lots, okay? Of call option, okay? So this is, a short call then we need to add one more leg so because this is an uh, undefined loss strategy right if i just uh, go ahead with a short call this is a, bear, a bearish to neutral option strategy and also with an undefined risk but what i want to achieve is i have a oscillating view on the market wherein i'm feeling that the market will go nowhere so what i'll do is i'll just go ahead and buy a slightly in the money call option so on the lower side i am hedged okay I am protected. But now it again, this is a ratio spread. Okay. If you do this, this is a ratio spread. It again, it, it, it is the problem with ratio spread is it is a good strategy, but the problem is that it will give you an undefined loss on the lower side. Let's say, what if the market goes to 18,600, uh, you know, by this expiry, then you will book a loss of 3000 uh, of uh, 35,000. I'm sorry. Okay. At the peak, you are making a max profit of 7,000 rupees in a ratio spread. Okay, what is ratio spread? You buy one and sell two. Okay, that is a ratio. Or basically one is to two. Okay, you can increase some people do it one is to three as well. But what I recommend is uh, for participants who have recently joined uh, and starting to trade ratios, one is to two is something what you should start with okay if you are starting to trade ratios but still there is an undefined loss in that so what we will do is we will go ahead and buy a one more strike price call option which is which would be a slightly out of the money call option and we will create this strategy into a butterfly so this strategy will now this is a butterfly okay a long call butterfly over here the peak profit it has gone down as compared to ratio which will happen because it is hedge, right? So hedge is taking all the cost from the premium, but benefit for this strategy is first is reduced margin. Second thing is no undefined loss. You can have a sound sleep. So here, if you see maximum loss would be 3000, roughly 2900 to be precise. But you know, if market remains exactly where it is and the peak profit that you would make of this strategy is 4,158, right? 4,200 roughly. But now when you should do this strategy, so you should do this strategy when you are ready to give this strategy some time because this strategy is a theta positive option strategy. So more you hold this strategy, more better it is, right? So typically when the theta starts to decay very, very fast is something where you should start deploying such type of strategies. And also you will have to hold this strategy for for some time, right? Over here, this type of strategies, you don't expect them to work out on the day you deployed it because the theta is the key over here and the theta is something what you are looking out to gain. Also, Vega is close to neutral, if not almost neutral. So every drop in implied volatility, right? So more implied volatility drops, more beneficial the strategy would be. And if it goes up, it will create a very small dent on your option strategy. So this is a butterfly. But now what is an edge and how go we actually go ahead and, you know, trade this in a much more better way is something what I will show you. Okay, so now for a butterfly, okay, for a butterfly, wherever you sell, okay, wherever you sell, that is the point which will give you the most profit. Meaning, if I sell 17,800 uh, two lots, that is the point where I will make the maximum profit of this strategy. If I sell 18,000 two lots, I will make maximum profit at 18,000. Okay, so when you are selecting strike price for a butterfly, whichever direction or wherever you expect that okay the market might expire somewhere around this level okay let's say for me in this case i'm expecting that the market might expire at 18000 or 17900 maybe let's say 17900 so what i'll do is i'll sell two lots 
of 17900 uh, and that is the point which will give me maximum profit and then rest i will hedge it okay so let's say uh, 18100 ka call option is something what i'll buy one lot and and one more thing what i'll do is i will go ahead and buy a 17000 700 strike price ka call option okay and then this will now if you see the peak profit where the peak profit is happening the peak profit will happen always wherever you are selling the two lots right so which is this 6700 and it is around 17900 right again 2700 is the maximum loss on either of the side so again the rest all the things remaining the same but now why we should go ahead and do this so let's say sometimes your forecast might be that the market is will oscillate but it will expire mildly bullish it will be mildly bullish right it will slowly and steadily it will go up and it will close somewhere around 17900 so you know having that uh, expectation on the market having uh, that a very marginal bias will give you an edge the edge is wherever you feel that market will expect that is the time that is the time you go ahead and or that is the strike price you go ahead and sell okay this is the first thing another thing what you can do is let's say you you are expecting that if market goes uh, above 18000 it might give a breakout and it might sustain higher right it can be a view again right so there are two types of view first view is that you expect the market to oscillate then a normal butterfly is something atm short and both the wings you buy itm call and otm call that is one type of strategy the second type of strategy is wherever you anticipate the expiry to happen you sell both lots of call option at that strike and you buy the wings Okay, that is the second thing. Third thing would be you expect that the market will go bullish from there. Okay, but still you want to do a butterfly. So what you can do is you can go ahead and buy a slightly out of the money call option, right? You can just shift this call option a bit here and there. Benefit, this strategy will give you profit even positively. Okay, even if the market goes positive, let's say 1850. Okay, so now you see if the market goes positive, right? So, and at the positive side, which is around 18,100, you're, you're making a loss till expiry, right? So your idea is you will convert this loss, right? Wherever this loss is happening to you, you will convert this loss into profit. How will you do it? You need to shift the OTM option that you have bought a bit closer. Okay. You need to shift it a bit closer, right? So just check it out what I'm doing. First 18,100 was bought. Now 1850 is bought. I will go ahead and modify this a bit more, right? So 18,000 should do the job. Okay. So now see what is happening. So on the peak, 4,540 is the profit. Even if market goes positive from here, you will make some profit from here, right? There would be some profit that you would end up making from this. Okay. Only thing is, yes, if the market goes against you, you will start making a loss, right? So one more optimization we will try to do right just check you know which uh, combination gives you the best outcome but this is almost a bull call spread right almost a bull call spread but still right it 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 also looks better so this is called as you know a butterfly a modified butterfly wherein you are going ahead and adjusting the hedges right the hedges that you have bought that is where you create a uh, adjustment so that even if the market goes in that direction still you will end up making profit okay so uh, before I summarize, I would like to invite all of you to Options Symposium 5.0. It is India's largest option trading conference wherein industry experts, option experts from, you know, uh, over the country, right, from the entire country, they are going to explain us, first of all, 10 plus actionable strategies and these strategies would be ready to deploy strategies. Plus, there would be a panel discussion wherein, uh, again, option experts will there, there are topics on panel, right, wherein some people will have a different view on that topic and some might have different views. So it would be more like a fire chat. And uh, for us as an attendee, we will be able to learn from that particular discussion. And also we have uh, distinguished option experts of ours, right? You can come and network along with uh, all these speakers and all these experts who are going to attend option symposium. So I would say 
Don't miss Option Symposium 5.0. It is going to happen on 11th and 12th of Feb 2023 at the Bombay Stock Exchange. So don't miss it. It is a great learning opportunity for all of us. And uh, talking about the butterfly strategy. So the idea is simple. First, create a view and then create a strategy. Analyze it in architect. And then later on, if the trade suits you, only then go ahead and initiate. Yes, folks, that was it from my side. Thank you so much for joining me up till here. See you all in the next uh, video. Thank you.